Did you know that on August 23rd, 2023, India made headlines by successfully landing its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft near the moon's south pole. This remarkable achievement marked India as the fourth country in the world to accomplish such a feat, following the United States, Russia, and China. The global community celebrated this significant milestone. For NASA, the success of Chandrayaan-3 was not only expected, but also a welcome development. It aligned with NASA's ambitious plan to establish the first human habitat on the moon. The agency has been diligently working towards this goal, and Chandrayaan 3's success is a crucial step in that direction. Curious about NASA's progress in this lunar habitat plan and the intricacies of this colossal mega project? Let's delve into what NASA has accomplished so far and explore the details of how they plan to build the first human habitat on the moon. Race to colonize the moon. The competition to explore the moon is back, and it's in full swing. The exciting news is that scientists have found a lot of water in the moon's south pole. This discovery makes it possible to create living spaces on the moon, because we can use the water for drinking, farming, and cooling space equipment. Experts also think that the moon has valuable materials we haven't found yet. The south pole, which hasn't been explored much, gives us a chance to learn secrets about the Earth, the moon, and our solar system's history and evolution. That's why many countries are in a rush to set up colonies on the moon. NASA's Artemis program is a big part of this. They plan to make lunar exploration even more exciting by sending the first woman and the next man to the moon's south pole in 2024. But that's not all. They want to create a sustainable living situation on the moon by the end of the decade. To make this happen, NASA has come up with the Artemis base camp idea which includes permanent homes on the moon and vehicles for transportation. NASA's Artemis Program The Artemis Program is a big project by NASA, the space agency that's known worldwide. It's like a massive plan with many steps, and its main goal is to create homes for people on the moon. NASA also wants to use this project to get ready to live on Mars and explore even farther parts of space. The first step of Artemis, called Artemis 1, happened in November 2022. It was like a practice run, going far away from Earth and around the moon to prepare for the real move to the moon. The next steps, like Artemis 2 and 3, will have astronauts landing on the moon's south pole, a place where people have never been before. If everything goes well, we might see a space station orbiting the moon by 2026 and a human home on the moon by 2028. The project has different parts, like the launch area in Florida, the space launch system, the Orion spacecraft, the Lunar Gateway, a space station around the moon, and the Human Landing System, a home for astronauts on the moon's surface. You might be curious about a permanent home on the moon. Well, NASA will decide what kind of home to build after they learn more from Artemis missions 2 and 3. They might even ask companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin for help. That's the basic idea of the Artemis program. Location of the Moon Base the question for NASA's Artemis program is where they will set up the main place for people to live on the moon. They're calling it the Artemis Base Camp, and they're thinking about putting it at the south pole of the moon, maybe in a place called Shapleton Crater. This spot is great because it might have ice and other useful things. The base camp would be like a central spot for astronauts landing on the moon, supporting groups of four astronauts for about a week each time. In the beginning, the visits would be short, but as the base camp grows, the goal is to let astronauts stay on the moon for up to two months on each trip. With each new journey, astronauts will get more comfortable and have better tools to explore and study more of the moon than we've ever done before. Now let's talk about another part of the project. What will the moon base look like? The Artemis base camp on the moon is planned to have various features and facilities. The habitat or living space will have things like power sources, protection from radiation, places to get rid of waste, and a landing pad for visiting crews. To make sure there's enough power, NASA is working on a small nuclear power unit. This unit can provide 10 kilowatts of power continuously, which is about the same as a regular home on Earth. This power plant will recharge other things in the base camp, making it more flexible for planning missions. It won't rely too much on getting sunlight at specific times. Now let's talk about where astronauts will live and work on the moon. The base camp will have modern lunar cabins, a rover, like a moon car, and even a mobile home. Japan's space agency and Toyota are working together to build a moon truck. Astronauts can drive around in this pressurized rover, allowing them to explore more of the lunar surface. 
Pressurization means they can wear regular clothes instead of bulky spacesuits inside, making their work more comfortable. The next-gen spacesuits they'll wear outside will give them more mobility and a better life support system. With these improved suits, the crew can do more complex experiments and collect unique samples. There's also a plan for an open-top vehicle that astronauts can drive in their spacesuits for more than 12 miles from the campsite. This vehicle might be autonomous or remotely operated from Earth for extra science and exploration. Additionally, there's a high-tech camper van, also known as the Habitable Mobility Platform. This vehicle is designed for long trips away from the base camp, lasting a few weeks. With its pressurized cabin and strong life support systems, it's made for exploring far and wide on the moon. If you're curious about something else, feel free to ask. How will it be constructed? How will NASA build homes on the moon? Since 2016, NASA has been working with various companies to design living spaces for astronauts. They've been looking at how these homes will be set up inside, what systems will control the environment and support life, and the outer structure options, which include rigid shells, expandable designs, and hybrid concepts. Recently, a group of researchers from the University of Central Florida made an exciting discovery. They found a clever way to build houses on the moon without bringing materials from Earth. They used 3D printed bricks made from lunar regolith, which is the loose dust, rocks, and materials covering the moon's surface. These bricks can handle the harsh conditions of space and are perfect for construction projects beyond Earth. To create these bricks, the research team combined 3D printing the binder jet technology. This technology uses a liquid binding agent sprayed onto a bed of powder to build things layer by layer. The plan is to send autonomous 3D printers to the moon. These printers can use the moon's soil, along with special polymers, to create solid habitats. Instead of sending large modules from Earth, only a 3D printer and lightweight, strong polymers would be sent. When mixed with the moon's soil and water, these polymers can 3D print habitats with floors, walls, doors, and roofs as strong, if not stronger, than concrete. This makes them ultra-safe and effective for long-term use. This innovation shows that we can build structures in space using the resources we find there. This could significantly reduce the need to transport building materials for future missions like Artemis. NASA aims to make space exploration more sustainable and efficient. More moon bases in the future. Sending astronauts back to the moon might involve more moon bases than you'd think. NASA's Artemis program could end up creating not just one Artemis base camp at the lunar south pole, but several bases spread around the moon. Instead of having a single big camp, NASA might team up with its international partners to set up a series of smaller moon camps all over the lunar surface. This way, they can get more science done and explore more areas. Having multiple smaller bases on the moon could help us learn more and have better access to the lunar surface. As space programs like Artemis continue, the moon might become the ultimate destination for everyone to explore. What do you think about the Artemis program? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.